Howdy everybody, it's your pal Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today's a fun Friday, and I'm going to introduce you to my new special guest. Now let me just back up and clear out a few housekeeping items with everybody. I have water, and it's hot. Or it can be cold, but I have hot water. And I have had it now for, well I haven't had hot water yet for 24 hours, but I've had water consistently for over 24 hours without pause and have had hot water for at least the last 12 to 16 hours. So I think we're good to go, everybody. I think we're back. We have power. We have internet. We have water, hot and cold, running in this apartment. Thanks for joining along on that not very fun journey. Um, I've been trying to do... Uh, I know a lot of y'all out there follow G and Nikki because that's how you got to my page. Thanks, everybody, and thanks, G and Nikki, for bringing people to my page. Um, Tracy, a few people from your page have come over, too, so thanks for that, um, for the shout-outs that y'all give me. So I, I appreciate that, and um, they're doing the Jerusalem Challenge, and I've been trying to get my mind right to do it. And I still have some days, G and Nikki. Don't, don't count me out yet. Don't count me out, everybody. I may still do it. It's a dance challenge. I was really wanting to do it outside, and then it, then it froze. And then I didn't want to get sweaty because I couldn't take a full shower. And now that I have power, it's been raining for the last two days. So don't count me out yet, though. I may still do it. I know the dance. Maybe I'll do it inside if I have to. But anyway... So there's a challenge, if you haven't heard about it, the Jerusalem Challenge. G's going to put together everybody's information. So I'll link that down below. You can check that out. You only have like a day left when you see this. But um, I thought I'd mention it because it's really pretty cool. Now, on to my new special guest. Now, there is a long story behind this new special guest, which I'm not going to share today. And I'm sorry. It's not that I'm trying to leave you out of it. But let's just say there was a doll that was ordered. You're not surprised it's a doll, right? You knew it was a special guest. So there was a doll that was ordered. And then there was a scam likely. And then there was a, wait, no, it's not a scam. And then there was a, this isn't what I ordered. But the good news is I'm super excited about this doll. Because it is something that I absolutely love. Y'all already know I love dolls, and so let's just, I got it right down here below me. I'm super excited. I'm going to show you. Are you ready? Take a deep breath and say hello to my new special guest. Guys, look at this doll. Oh, hey, Barnum. Welcome. Look at this doll, guys. I'm not going to talk about the company that this doll was bought from because, again, evidently a lot of people don't even get their dolls. And this doll is beautiful. Let me, I haven't even taken the hairnet off. But if you know, well, first of all, welcome my new special guest. He's a, a member of the Navi tribe. And since I'm silly, I've decided to name him Ivan. That's right. It's a boy. I know it's beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Can you see that face? I hope it's focusing on that face. Look at that face. Look at this doll. I, it is so, It is gorgeous, but here's one thing to note. We're going to keep it like this because it is a boy doll. Surprise! It was not supposed to be a boy doll. So we'll, we'll make sure that you know, it's uh, like when I say it's a boy doll, it's a boy doll. So, anyway, it's beautiful. You can even dress it up in other clothes from what I've been told. They wear, I think, three-month baby clothes or preemie baby clothes or something like that. I don't know how big of a baby is this. But this is Ivan. If you didn't get that reference, it's Navi backwards because I'm, you know. Actually, I have a few that are like that, but y'all haven't met all them yet. So this is Ivan. He's our new special guest, and he is gorgeous. He's just so pretty. And look. Boop. He's 
would call a little pacifier or a little sucker or a little whatever you call them. Everybody, I've learned that everybody calls their pacifier something different. Look how cool this baby is. I love it. The eyelashes are just like little tiny, tiny hairs. It's got, oh, it's also got a, a, a bottle with nothing in it. That's not, for, I don't know, that's, that's not my favorite. But I do like the little pacifier, so. We got kid that just stays right there. <coughs> oh no, oh no, uh oh. TikTok song. But yeah, so this is my new little buddy. This is Ivan. He's great. And so pretty. And just soft. This vinyl is so soft. His legs are a little bit movable. Again, we need to make sure um, you can see his little tail. So let's hope he sits up here, okay? Um, it's not perfect. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, welcome everybody. My new special guest, Ivan. I'm so excited about this doll. It, again, I, I'm not going to share where it was from. You can look on Etsy to find dolls similar to this, but I can go ahead and tell you they're several hundred dollars. This one was not. I mean, it was expensive, but the quality is amazing. This may be one of the nicest dolls that I have. So Ivan and Grogu are going to be our special guests for a while, just because, look at them. <laughs> so we may have a few, you know, a few, I was going to call them episodes, like I'm a TV show. We're going to have a few episodes of the Couch Talks where um, these are going to be my special guests because I like them a lot. Now I still have plenty of dolls to show y'all, don't worry, I get one every year for my birthday. I meant for Christmas, um, and sometimes I've gotten some on my birthday because people know that I collect things, so. A lot of y'all said y'all wanted to see my little shelf, too, that has, like, my pops and my mini figs and stuff like that, so I'm going to add that into my Fun Friday list, but I haven't done that yet. Um, so, yeah, so happy Friday. I have water. I have a very lovely new special guest, he's just, and he's soft. Look at this little belly button. He's got a little Audi belly button. It's just such a beautiful doll. So I'm very excited to have Ivan um, join us on our adventures. We did not come up with a fun fact. Fun fact Friday. You know what? I'm going to, for this fun fact Friday, I'm going to share something else that I plan on doing a video on. It is a fun fact, and unless you were already in the know, has been a secret. But for the last almost two months, well, yeah, two months, I've been learning to play the ukulele. And it's a load of fun. So, fun fact on a Friday about Misty, my new hobby that I decided to take up this year because I switch them up from time to time because I get bored with old hobbies. Uh, is to learn how to play the ukulele. I've been doing a 30-day challenge with uh, Bernadette. Actually, I'll probably link her channel down below just as a shout-out because she's amazing, and I don't know her, but she does great lessons. She's actually going to be starting weekly, daily lessons starting March 1st. She's going to do them live, but I'll be working while she's doing them. But I think I may go and take some of the courses. They're free. She does downloads that you can look at. Anyway, I'm really excited about this whole ukulele thing. When I was visiting my mama, I didn't film it. But one thing I would do is she would do puzzle and I would serenade her. I mean, it wasn't very pretty either because I was learning. And um, sometimes I couldn't find the notes like in my voice, not in the uke, but to match Anyway, whatever. It's been a load of fun, so if you'd like to see my progress video on the ukulele, let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any new hobbies that you've picked up recently, or just any hobbies that you've had for a while that you, you know, you enjoy and would like to share or talk about? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, I like talking to y'all down there in the comments, but I really think that's going to be it for today. I'm hoping the weather clears up and maybe I can do that dance challenge outside. If not, y'all may see me dancing right here, but it's not a very big area. So, 
it's not as grand as the Jerusalem Challenge should be. But I'll link all the information for the Jerusalem Challenge if you're interested either to participate or just to watch once they put it all together. I think it'll be great fun uh, to do as a community of YouTubers. So for those of you who are doing it, dance your little hearts out. Um, and I can't wait to see, gee, what you put together with it. So <clears throat> that's going to do it for today. So like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Um, let me know either way down below because again, I like the comments subscribe if you know how turn on your little bell notifications so that it's all that way you'll know every time I post a video again right now I post videos every Sunday Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Central until next time I'll see you real soon